What's going on, you guys? It is another beautiful day in Indy. The rain has finally stopped, and so I decided, you know what? I'm going to make this a beer review today. So with that being said, welcome back to Cloudless in Indy. I'm Cloudless, and I'm in Indy. And fortunately for you, this is another beer review. Roll the intro. All right, so welcome back, you guys. So the reason for this video is actually, this video is going to be a little different than my typical beer review videos. And the reason is, is because this video is actually a continuation on of my previous beer review video, which should have been the Hops Variety Pack by Sun King Brewery, which cons consisted of four IPAs. I'll post a picture of that video right here. Um, that's going to be the Otter Trotter, the Atomic Armadillo, the Ruckus Raccoon Hazy IPA, and the Technicolor Dreamcat Blood Orange Infused Hazy IPA. So that pack consisted of two West Coast style IPAs and two East Coast style IPAs. Um, but in that video, and in many if not all of my beer review videos on um, Force Sun King, I've always mentioned that I prefer their beers on cans, in can, than I do on draft. I think there's a slight difference. Uh, but also, in this previous video, I had mentioned that there was a difference between the 16 ounce cans or the pint cans and the 12 ounce cans. And so, you know what? I decided that in this video, I was actually going to put that to the test. Now, I'm a little unsure how this is going to what the results are going to be um, because there are a lot of factors that's going to determine the taste of the beer right when they first came the beer theoretically they the beer should taste the same but due to packaging and storage and whatnot um those flavors may change um and so we're going to test that out right now um, let me show you the two beers that I have already. So the two beers that I that we're going to be looking at today um, is the Ruckus Raccoon Hazy IPA and the Atomic Armadillo. Since those two beers right there um, were the two that I that had the most noticeable difference between Undraft and in the can, and even more so between the pint cans and the 12 ounce cans, since I have had all three. Now of course. Where I'm at, uh, you know, they, the, the laws state that the Sun King cannot pour me a beer on draft and I can walk out with it, um, unless, of course, I got it in a crawler or a growler, um, which uh, those options are available for these two beers, um, but I didn't do that for this video, therefore, I do not have those uh, options available to me at the moment. Um, so, right now, we're only going to be testing the 16 ounce cans with the 12 ounce cans so i'm very excited about that we're just going to get right into it and also quick note i want you guys to also stay tuned for part three where i'm going to be doing the same test okay with the sunlight cream ale the osiris and the wee mac as well so without further ado let's get into the pour of these beers all right, you guys, so I currently have the beers lined up, and I think we're going to start with the Ruckus Raccoon first, and that's primarily because of the high uh, intensity of the bitterness and hops with the Atomic Armadillo. Uh, so, and this is going to be um, much lighter, especially in the IBUs. So... So let's uh, go ahead and first we're going to pour the 12 ounce can since that's what we reviewed yesterday. Okay, just trying to make sure I can get this on the camera. Look at that absolute great head formation there. Absolutely beautiful. 
Also, if you haven't already noticed about the can designs, is that on each can they are similar. I've noticed that on some of the on some cans, some can cans are not the same, or at least there's slight minor differences. Also, another note: both of these cans here of the Ruckus Raccoon were in the fridge um, before filming this, so they should be at roughly the same temperature. And if you guys want me to confirm that, I did um, find my tick tester here, my voltage uh, tester by Klein Tools. If you guys are a fan of my my channel and have been watching my channel, you guys would know that I used to be an apprentice electrician, so I still have a lot of my tools, including this, and I like to, uh, you know, actually see what my, my beers are at. With that being said, the recommended temperature for serving beer is, I think, what, typically between, what, 38 and 45 degrees Fahrenheit, although some places serve it at as low as 33 degrees, um, but as you know, the warmer the beer is the more of the flavors you can um you can taste within reason of course uh, me personally i prefer my beers to be a little warmer than 45 i would say anywhere between the range and this may have been changing every video <laughs> but i would say that what between 50 degrees 51 and 61 i think is the sweet spot um for getting that perfect you know that the the, the all-around flavor being able to experience everything anything anything past that past 60 um you know getting close to 65 at the max all right you may get some undesired undesirables in there it may not be the best experience <laughs> all right so right now the temperature here is it's showing about 60 degrees that doesn't sound right yeah there we go when I actually um, do the can, we're getting about 56.1 degrees Fahrenheit for the 16 ounce. And, um, oh wow, look at that. And 59.7 uh, degrees Fahrenheit for the 12 ounce. That is quite the difference. Maybe that has to do with how long I was holding the cans for. Uh, my body heat may have uh, added to that, added to the rising temperature of the cans. But yeah, both the glasses are showing roughly 60 degrees Fahrenheit. So if you guys can see that. But now we're going to go ahead and look at the, compare the colors of these two beers. Let me see if I can get it in the camera here. They look basically the same as they should. Um, they've both lost their head. Uh, so there, theoretically there shouldn't be really any difference between these two beers. Um, although I will say yesterday, um, this was very, uh, I want to say kind of transparent to the, the Ruckus Ruckus. It was very transparent. Um, but I kind of wonder if, um, the temperature, you know, how cold these beers were yesterday, since it was pretty hot out, um, has anything to do with that. And I think that that may be a possibility. All right. So right now I'm looking in the glass. Um, and yeah, there's a, there's a lot of uh, condensation on the glass. I do want to say that with the 16 ounce right now that I have, there is noticeable sediment in the glass there floating around. Uh, I can't really say so much with the, um, the 12 ounce can. I'm going to try to wipe it a little bit. Yeah. Can't really notice it, but we're going to get into the, the smelling and the tasting here. Wow, that smells good. What to say that <laughs> this one smells a little bit more floral. The uh, what? This is the the pint one, the sixteen ounce. This is the twelve ounce. But honestly, this could all be in my mind. It could be all be psychological. Let's go ahead with the twelve ounce first. Oh yeah, that's delicious. With that being said, I'm willing to go as far as to say that these beers are most likely colder than they were yesterday all right and um and yeah definitely a lot better experience a lot better experience um than yesterday 
Yeah, that's really good. Very good, slightly juicy. All right, I'm gonna go cleanse my palate real fast, and then we're gonna move on to the um, the 16 ouncer. All righty, here we go. Oh wow! Now I have to go back to the 12 ouncer. <laughs> yeah, I would say that the 16 ounce uh, was a little bit lighter as far as like the bitterness there. It was a little bit softer. But still delicious nonetheless. I think with this one here, mm, excuse me, I think it definitely is best cold or colder than I prefer my beers. So definitely at the, well, to be fair, what? This one was at, I don't remember the exact, uh, well, actually, I, I don't know because what? What? I, I, I did the temperature of the cans, right? And the 16 ounce can was colder than the 12 ounce can but when i um measured the temperature for the liquids in the glass they were both roughly the same um but still i do find it interesting that there is still a noticeable difference between the two thus well i mean not proving i mean a, a theory but that I, I guess i was correct that um that there was a noticeable difference still great beer um regardless i just find it strange but as i said before going into the can they theoretically could taste the same but there are a couple of factors um that would affect the beer such as storage and the other one i actually just thought of is that these could be two different batches of beer as well right these may not even be the same batch of beer <laughs> <laughs> you know so that could be another thing uh, that could be another thing as well so with that being said we're gonna move on to the uh, atomic armadillo all right so same as before we're gonna go ahead and pop open the 12 ounce can all right we're gonna give that a pour Very nice, very nice head formation there. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and open the 16 ounce can here. Um, I do have to say, um, give one disclaimer that I, while I thought about doing this video, or I thought about it yesterday, I didn't actually confirm that this video is going to be happening until today um and i didn't consider putting because i have a bunch of beer still in the garage but um the fridge is pretty full and so i but i didn't consider putting the uh 16 ounce armadillo in the fridge so obviously they're not going to be the same temperature um, and there are going to be differences <clears throat> in flavor, most likely. But let's go ahead and measure each temperature for you guys. And then we're going to get into the visual comparisons. Because right now, just from looking at it on my end, right, I can already notice the, the, the difference um, between the beers, which is the 12 ounce. Well, let me just turn the camera and show you guys. All right, so right here, of course, we have the 12 right here we have the 16 i'm going to turn the camera around for you guys and i'm going to show you if you didn't already see all right 12 ounce or 16 ounce 12 ounce and as you can see here with the 16 it's very transparent um because it's, it's just not cold <laughs> and then of course we have the uh 12 ounce which is cold um so so yeah as you can can see there let me um get the temperature of these beers real fast i didn't do that yet okay so measuring the 12 ounce can we have a temperature of 57.9 degrees fahrenheit and with the 16 ounce can we have a temperature of 62 um degrees fahrenheit look at that we're gonna measure the glass 57.9 
and 53.6, so significantly warmer. Um, not only can you tell by the temperature, obviously, that we just measured, um, but also by feeling it and, of course, just by looking at it, right? So, but let's go ahead and um, get into this some tasting here. Alrighty, so... So very strange, the colder one, the 12 ounce, <laughs> the flavor is a lot more aromatic um, and I'm going to give it because uh, give it to because it's cold. So I don't have to get as close to be able to smell it as I do with um, the warm one. I have to pretty much get my nose right in there. All right. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, that's very interesting there. It feels very light on the palate, but still, like I said before uh, in my previous video yesterday, that very smack in your face hoppiness there on the palate. Almost like a spiciness. <laughs> and, uh, and here, even even more so. Even more so. I mean, ugh, let me let me let me be real with you guys here, okay? So now that I've done this video, instead of just thinking about it, and I've been thinking about this for quite some time, right? Uh, about the difference between the beer on draft and in the cans, um, and now you know between the 16 and the 12 ounce cans. Um, I think I pretty much answered my question at the beginning of this video and previously before I even got into the Atomic Armadillo, that the difference in flavor is, chances are, and most likely, due to the temperature at which I'm drinking the beer, right? So, what, at work, I, I, I see the, the taps are at least consistently 38 degrees, which some would say that's perfect, um, and the, I guess, the average serving temperature of beer. <clears throat> You know, and the temperature that I'm drinking my beer at is consistently, I would say, between 55 and 60 degrees, and sometimes a little bit higher than that, as you guys can see here, since I don't always refrigerate my beer. Um, mainly because the house is typically at, a, at 60 degrees. We, we tend to keep it a little cool. I, I love wearing my hoodies. <laughs> Love wearing the hoodies. Um, so I, I think that, that that basically just answers my question. Um, is there really a difference between the 12 ounce and the 16 ounce cans? Honestly, I, I don't think so. Um, I think that temperature plays a large part. Um, but as I noticed with the Ruckus Raccoon, uh, they could easily... There is a slight noticeable difference because they were both the same temperature. They both were the same temperature when I took them out of the... the um, out of the, uh, the fridge, right? Um, <clears throat> but they could have easily been two completely different batches, which is why there's only a slight difference between the two. Um, and of course, this isn't a fair test with the Atomic Armadillo because the 16 wasn't refrigerated and the 12 ounce wor was. Um, you know, so what was the point of this video? I don't know. I mean, I, 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 mean, I, think, I, I think I achieved a goal. Right. I, I hope that I didn't waste your time. I don't feel like my time was absolutely wasted. Um, I think this is a pretty interesting experiment, which is why there's going to be a part three, um, which will technically be a part two of doing these comparisons. Um, but but still, this is going. Yeah, I guess the next video will be, is there a difference between the 16 ounce and the 12 ounce cans? <laughs> Sun King Brewery. That's going to be um, part two. Um, that's going to be the, the next video title, I think. Anyways, with that being said, I want to thank you guys for, for watching this video. Um, I want to thank for my returning viewers. I want to thank you for coming back. Okay, It is your viewership that makes these videos possible. Why? Because they give me the confidence and the motivation to keep going and doing what I love, which is... Um, doing this you know experiencing indiana one beer at a time um I, I definitely have a lot more um in the works right now i'm just pumping them out it's just a matter of uh not putting out the videos 
too soon, right? And of course, there's all the editing, so there's a lot that I have to do. And I'm just a one-man team here, right? Cloudless Media is a, a one-man team currently. <laughs> but I'm having the time of my life, and I'm just hoping that soon the, the money will start rolling in so I can start um, doing um, bigger things, more things, and then eventually, who knows, maybe even uh, get a team. Who knows? Um, but with that being said, I want to thank you guys for watching. And I'm going to leave the, the video off with this. Okay. Um, cheers. Salud. Slancha. Skol. Nastrovia. Prost. Peace out. And I'll see you guys in the next one.